Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to another video talking about the Five Nights at Freddy's Fazbear Frights book series. Today, we have the final cover for the final book, book number 11, again, in the Fazbear Frights book series. It's kind of sad when you think about it, right? The book series has been going on for a very, very long time, I think over a year at this point. Yeah, Into the Pit released on December 26, 2019, so a year and a half, and it's gonna end this year. It's very sad, but we're not gonna focus on the sad bits. Instead, I wanna focus on something very, very exciting. As I mentioned, we just got the final cover for the final book, book number 11, The Prankster, and there was definitely a lot to say about this cover, so let's not waste any more time. Before we hop into it though, I do just wanna say, take a look at this. Thank you guys so, so much for 20,000 subscribers. That's a, that's a freaking huge number, okay? And if you haven't subscribed yet, or at least you think you're subscribed, just double check. All right, now now let's talk about this cover. Here it is. As you can see, you got Five Nights at Freddy's Fazbear Frights number 11, the prankster. Actually, it just says prankster. So I guess we've been getting that wrong for a little bit because we've always put the in front of it. Instead, it's just prankster. And you can see some guy inside of a hallway with two animatronics peeking out from doors. You have an exit sign on the right side. On the left side, you have some sort of panel, maybe for an elevator. And then further in the back on the right side, you have what appears to be yet another panel. Now, the reason why I say this cover is probably the most interesting one we've gotten so far is because not only is it the only cover that has a human on it, I believe the breaking wheel was originally going to have um, a, a, a human on it, but it was too gruesome, so they had to scrap it, turn it into the cliffs, and then use the um, tag along Freddy. For the cover. I believe that's the uh, the character's name. But yeah, this cover is very interesting because it has a human. It has two characters emerging from doorways. And where exactly have we seen two characters emerging from doorways? Now, most people will think of FNAF 4 with Nightmare Bonnie on the left, Nightmare Chica on the right, and I can definitely see that. However, when you take into account the official description for the book, you start to think of a different game. Standing up for yourself can be hard. Jeremiah decides he's done being the butt of his co-workers jokes at their small game studio. Joel is counting the days until he can quit his family's garden center and hit the road to a new life. Amy finally walks up the courage to ditch her loudmouth annoying friend at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. But when it comes to Five Nights at Freddy's, even the most well-meaning actions can reap horrible consequences. So now that we've read the description, Let's go back to the cover. You have who we can presume to be Jeremiah inside of a hallway with two characters. Again, emerging from doorways and he walks at a small game studio. And now I'm gonna ask you again, what do you think of? In Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted, not only was that game made by a small studio, Fazbear Entertainment, Silver Parasol Games, whoever made the actual game of Help Wanted, and not only, is there a character who walks at that studio named Jeremy, a very similar name to Jeremiah? There was also a level in Curse of Dreadbear called Hallway Crawl, which has you walking through a hallway with Nightmare Bonnie and Nightmare Chica emerging from doorways. So I don't know about you, but I think it's pretty safe to say this is Jeremy from, again, Silver Parasol Games, Fazbear Entertainment, and either he was put into the hallway crawl minigame in Help Wanted by his co-workers, because he's always the butt of jokes, or, and I think this is kind of less likely, but it is an idea, this character is one of the co-workers who was put into the game by Jeremy as an act of revenge against them. I'm honestly not sure about that one. I think it's more likely that the character on the cover is Jeremiah himself, but I do really, really, really do think that we're gonna see a lot of connections to Help Wanted because of Dreadbear and, you know, the Nightmares, Hallway Crawl, all that stuff. Now, of course, when it comes to the Fazbear Frights book series, you know, the stories don't always add up exactly to what we see in the games. I mean, last time we were talking about a game developer, he gave birth to Springtrap, so, <laughs> you know, anything can freaking happen. However, again, this is the final book, so hopefully we can have some very big lore reveals in the final book. It comes out on November the 2nd, 2021, but we still have two books before this to be released, uh, the puppet cover, I think in like a week, and then we also have Friendly Face, which I believe comes out in either August or September. Something I do want to remind you guys about is the 12th 
book. Even though I did say number 11 is the final book, what is book number 12? Well, just to recap, the 11th book is going to be a part of the box set number two, which is going to include all of the books from Into the Pit to Fetch to 1.35am, Step Closer, Bunny Call, Blackbird, uh, The Cliffs, Gumdrop Angel, The Puppet Carver, Friendly Face, and Prankster. So all 11 books, including a 12th book, which is going to have uh, scrapped stories from the series. It comes out on December 7th, and as of right now, we don't know anything about the scrapped stories for book number 12. No description, no name, no cover, nothing. However, Scott did clarify a few things about the 12th book. I'll clarify that right now. Hey everyone, I wanted to mention a small note about book 12. Well, it's true that a physical copy of book 12 won't be sold outside of the full series collection, aka box set number 2, which again includes all 11 books. For now at least, so there is a possibility of book 12 receiving a physical copy just like the past 11, but as of right now it seems like it is going to be exclusive to the box set. I'm going to figure out some way for people to easily get it without having to buy the whole series again. I'm not sure if it would be a cheap ebook or what, but I'll figure out something. So yeah, people were very upset that to get these scrap stories in book 12 they had to buy all of the books again in the box set number 2. Thankfully though, Scott did say that he's trying to find some way around that. That was two months ago and so far we haven't had an update on that since. But that is Fazbear Frights book number 11, Prankster. Again, a very interesting cover, what seems to be a very interesting story and book overall, and hopefully we can go out with a bang. I don't know if he's gonna move on to a different book series, I doubt it since, you know, Scott is retiring, and I also don't know if the next person to get FNAF is going to continue on making books. I highly doubt that they'd keep doing Fazbear Fright books, if anything, I'd think they'd move on to a different series, but yeah, we're just gonna have to wait and see. Are you excited for the finale of the Fazbear Bear Freight's book series, and stay tuned for more info. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.